lovely Sunday, which is Father's Day today. It's a very special day for all the super dads out there. And today we're going to treat you with lovely crumpets. And we're going to make it with buttermilk, which makes it so much lighter and lovelier. So the ingredients that we're going to use today, and the recipe will follow with the post, is very simple. So this is easy to make. You don't need a mixer. You can just have the bowl and all the ingredients and then one, two, three, and you've got lovely buttermilk crumpets to treat your dad, hopefully in bed. So what we're going to do is we're going to use all our dry ingredients and add them all together. So first of all, we're going to put the flour in our bowl. And then we have baking powder. We've got salt, we've got baking soda, and we've got a little bit of sugar. So all of this is going to go in. The baking powder, then you've got a little bit of salt, and then the baking powder. Good. So what you can do is you can take your whisk just to mix all the dry ingredients together so that they're nicely mixed. And as you do this, you will also create a little well in the middle, which helps to pour in all the wet ingredients. So the wet ingredients is two eggs. So this is our lovely Teresa. So she's going to help me today to make it for our dad. And you're going to crack the two eggs in there. Good. And put it in the bowl or just somewhere there. And another one. Wonderful. And as you're doing that, we can just whisk that lightly. And then we're going to add the dry ingredient. Here's a little cloth for you. And then we're going to whisk those eggs lightly. And this hand as well. And then we're going to add the buttermilk all together. You can whisk it a little bit more. Cool. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay. So we, you can get the buttermilk and we can mix that all together. So this is lovely to serve with a nice crispy bacon. And if you've got, like I said, the lovely... Um, Blueberries will have that lovely burst of color in it. Okay, so in your well, you're going to add your eggs and you're going to add the butter. Thank you. So if you've got a helper like Teresa, then you're going to gradually add the buttermilk and stir it together because you want to make a lovely smooth dough here or a smooth batter and you can pour a little faster. Buttermilk, like I said, makes it really nice and light. Alright, so we've got everything in there. Then we need a bit of mixing to get it all nice together and to get all those lumps out because we don't want lumpy buttermilk pancakes or crumpets, as some countries call it. And the last thing that you can pour in is you can pour the melted butter in here. It just gives it a little bit of a rich flavour. So I presume you're going to be in a bit of a hurry on Sunday morning, getting everything ready. So what we'll do is we're going to rather not let this stand, but you can let it stand for a while if you want. Some people like to let it thicken up a bit, but you can also just use it straight away. So we've got a big pan here, which we're going to warm up nicely. And I always like to fry it in a bit of sunflower oil because butter tends to burn quickly. So you can also make a mixture of the butter and the, um, and the sunflower oil if you like. And this is now very nice and thin, not like a pancake, like our French crepes, but it's a little thicker than that batter, but not too thick as it will not cook through if it's too thick. If you feel that it's a little bit too thin or too thick, you can add a bit of flour or you can add a bit more buttermilk in the pot. Great. So now... Once your pan is nicely heated, you can start with the um, baking. So you can just spread the oil so that it's everywhere in the pan. And usually the first bit is a little bit tricky, but then once you get the hang of it, it's actually quite easy. So 
I like to always use a measuring scoop to pour the batter into the pan. It just makes it nice and round. Um, as you pour it in right in the middle, it forms really beautiful um, pancakes. So you can test your pan, feeling if it's nice and hot. Some people like to go take it up all the way to smoke level. I don't like doing that, but you can just feel a bit um, if it's nice and hot enough. Because you want a hot pan, but not too hot. Sometimes a whisper is louder than a shout. And sometimes a man. Sometimes I'm afraid when the lights go out. Sometimes. And you can see it's starting to bubble nicely in the pan. And what you would like to see is that when the bubbles comes up to the surface, they're going to start bursting. And that's the sign to know when you can turn them around. And this batter makes about 24 crumpets, which is nicely enough for a family of four or five. And what you add to it, a nice fruit salad, Teresa loves making this fruit salad for us, then it will turn into a lovely full breakfast. You can also check a little bit. Oh, I see that it's coming nicely on here. And you can also adjust the temperature if you feel that it's a bit too hot or a bit too warm. Just give it a little more time. Sometimes I'm a god. And we're gonna serve it with butter and honey, but obviously golden syrup is just as nice. And if you've got some maple syrup, you can use that with the pancakes. And it's just a lovely scrumptious breakfast. Let's see this one. Slowly turn it around to get those perfect ones. Loosen this one a bit. There you go. Lovely. You can see it puffs up quite nicely as it bakes, giving it that light, fluffy taste. Sometimes I'm a boy, you see a clown. Sometimes I'm a dog that you want to run down. Sometimes. looks really yummy. I'm just turning it around again. Usually don't do it but the pan's heat is a little bit irregular so I'm just going to turn it once again to cook on the other side. This one a little bit more time in the pan. You think Daddy's gonna enjoy this? Yes. Definitely. So once you've got your little stack there, you can add a little bit of butter on top and obviously lovely honey. And I always say try using the best ingredients that you can afford. Real butter can nothing can replace real butter, and obviously real good honey is there's nothing better like that. There you go. Well, thank you for joining us in our home this morning, and I hope you have a lovely Sunday with all the dads out there. And to all the dads, happy Father's Day. Thank you. Bye bye.